beloved intercessor, another powerful element that you will need, we all need, in order to disciple effectively is we will need the wall of scripture. Without scripture, groups and ministries can go just in any direction. So we need to teach our people to be protected through scripture, the reading of the scripture. Many Christians, they barely like to pray and much less to read the Bible. But you need to find a system for your people. We have a system in our network. It's called the Bible Reading Plan. And if you follow it, you are reading together with the rest of the team. And it provides a sense of unity, co cohesiveness, and order in the reading of the scripture. Ephesians 4.14 says, We will not be tossed or blown about by every wind of new teaching. When we grow, when we mature in the scriptures, we are not going to be enticed by any nuance, any, any new uh, wind of doctrine. And I like the illustration of Pastor Yang Gi Cho, he's in heaven waiting for us now, but he was the uh, pastor of the largest world uh, church in the world. And he said, uh, uh, when we read the scripture, we need to have the logos and the rema. The logos as the written word, but the rema as the voice of the Holy Spirit while we read the scripture. Many times I'm reading the scripture and I'm just uh, daydreaming. I'm distracted because I'm not listening to the Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, reveal to me, why is the scripture here? What, what are you trying to tell me? And Yongi just said, the Logos is like uncooked rice, raw rice, but the Rema is like the cooked rice that is really good for you. You can eat it and it will do well with you. So when you read the scripture, always ask the Holy Spirit to accompany the reading and to give you understanding and revelation. And don't forget to be part of the Bible reading plan and to teach your disciples the same thing. God bless you, keep strong, and you will surely need the protective wall of scripture.